Assalamu alaikum. This is the verse, first video of the video series of student management or school management application. This video will guide you to create end to end entire architecture based web application. In the journey of that web application, we will use the link entity framework SQL server and uh, C sharp of course and in the client side we will use the uh, JavaScript framework as the angular JS it's a, it's a big journey we will uh, do small part one by one today uh, we will talk about only about the database uh, creation the table creation and the uh, uh, entity framework adio.net data model okay so let's start to do that uh, I will create a new project it will be the blank solution it will be the blank solution and I will use this folder and source and the solution name should be screw management Uh, for your kind information, I am using Visual Studio 2013 and in my source tree, uh, it is configured already. Uh, maybe we will talk about it uh, in another video. And I am using Git, not the Mercurial. Okay, so it is the blank solution so far. So, what about the database? We will use the SQL Server database Okay, so we will use SQL Server database so let's create the database in my computer there are already two SQL Server installed for simplicity I will use the SQL exp Express and we will name the database as school management db so a new database is created for now on uh, I will create uh, a student table and for our uh, simplicity I will just add four different columns for it so right click a new table if you don't see the server explorer here find it from the view you should see it in the third item okay it is loading okay it's loaded so as I said you the ID column I want to do it as auto incremented that means the ID columns identity specification should be true it is auto automatic generated auto incremented we also add name which is for character it is must we will use the phone number it is also for character no, not now and we will use a simple address address it's also var character not null remember by saving this 
you are not saving the table. You need to run that script, this script, to create the table. So I am naming the word table as student, create table, and I want to do it as update. It is a confirmation box. It tells me whether I want to update it or not or create the table or not. Yes, I want to run this script. I want to run this. And now if you go to here, right click, refresh, see the student table is generated, created and there are four columns here. So let's close this window. It's not needed anymore. Please remember I have created the database and the table inside of the server. If you don't see your server from here you need to install it. And maybe uh, if, you, if, you, if it is required maybe I will uh, display it or show it in another video. This is not in our scope for now on. And this is the solution, my our solution. Now we will add a new project. It should be the class library. And we will name it as school management dot it is actually holding your models so it should be the model it is a plain simple class library we will add the area.net entity data model in this project so let's right click on this project add new item data entity data model and what will you do school management model now this entity model tells me or asks me uh, how it will be uh, generated uh, how, how it will generate the models or the our class files so I want to make it from the database and uh, this is the database we have just created school management DB uh, yes put the connection string and press next yes entity framework 6 and next here it is retrieving the database information uh, it will fetch the table information here also see the student by doing this we actually create the exact uh, similar model of our student table in our project in a class. I will show you. Actually it is adding the entity framework 6.0. So let's do some pause. Yes, it is generated ID name, phone and address. So I will show you where it is created here it is the student ID name phone address so by this way you can create the table and the s uh, class according to that table now if you want to update the table so and also update your uh, classes so what will you do maybe uh, i will show it in the in the next video thanks for watching this
اللہ حافظ